This video is brought to you by Ageless Geeks. Kawabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of Wave 14 of Battle Tribes. Yes, new Battle Tribes, those awesome 3 inch Glyos minifigures that I have come to love and appreciate. This is such a sick wave because we get a ton of new stuff in new color decos and I love every one of these pieces and to me these 3 inch figures are complete works of art and just overall fun toys. So what are we waiting for? Let's take a closer look at wave 14 of Battle Tribes. Alright guys now let's take a closer look at wave 14 of Battle Tribes. So first and foremost, a big shout out to the guys over at Spy Monkey for sending these along my way to take an early look at them. Lots of cool new things here, lots of great decos. Let's take a closer look and see what we got this time around. So I'm gonna start off with this fella right here, which is the Scarabite Ankylosaurian. And I'm really excited about this because I know the Scarabite colorway is very popular in the Gaios, Gaios community. And I think this turned out amazing. So you can see all the parts that he comes with here. And again, it's just really exciting to see all those parts uh, in this particular colorway. And I think they all turned out great. I absolutely love the Ankylosaurian design with that shell. A spike shell just looks really, really cool. Uh, this is my favorite uh, design from this new batch of characters that we've gotten from Battle Tribes. And, and see him in this color just looks fantastic. So if you do happen to have the gold Scarabite from Warlords of War, he fits perfectly and matches just to perfection side by side with that character. And I can honestly see people buying multiples of this particular design uh, in this colorway because I know how popular it really is. Especially wanting to display him in the different, uh, the different pieces and whatnot. Uh, so first and foremost, what I think I'm pretty sure, dude, this is what I've always said. This is Slash, dude. As far as I'm concerned, that's Slash. I mean, those colors, you know what I mean? This is probably the closest thing we'll ever get to Slash anytime soon. But yeah, as far as I'm concerned, this is a Battle Tribes version of Slash. That's just me. That's all I'm saying. Take it for what it is. Uh, what Spy Monkey also asked me to do, uh, create some artwork for each individual character for this particular wave. So there's the scary bite right there, uh, and they just asked me to come up with some artwork to promote this particular wave, uh, and I was really excited to do so, so there that is, uh, and thank you all for the support and whatnot for supporting my art and things like so, so very, very cool. What I'm really excited about is that we also got a battle builder for this particular version of a scare bite in that color, which is great. Uh, again, this is such a popular colorway that I think uh, any and all companies should be coming out with uh, battle builders or uh, blanks for specific colorways and this again scare by colorway with that turquoise like bluish color uh, just works out fantastic and I love this so so much the battle builders really are some of my favorites uh, in the entire line so very cool and happy to have those I'm gonna take a look at this guy now this is the legendary berserker uh, this guy was kind of kind of shown at the last wave you know during the holidays and whatnot uh, but this is the first time we're actually getting him in his you know basic colors uh, which is which is more what he would normally look like as a character without any crazy decos and whatnot this is his base color set of what this character specific character is and he's just really cool Viking character and whatnot you can see all the pieces that he comes with uh, and seeing that uh, that uh, like goblin head in that brown color just looks really cool. I like that for some reason a lot. So just a ton of fun. Uh, they also asked me to do some artwork of him. Uh, and again, I think he turned out great. He was a fun one to draw, but I'm a sucker for Vikings. So that's probably why I had so much fun drawing him. But the sculpt of those horns and the helmet, that beard, that hammer looks dope. I love this a ton with that big strap around his waist. Just turned out really, really cool and real excited for this particular character. We also got a battle builder of him uh, in this brown right here, which looks really nice. 
I dig that. Again, I love Battle Builders. Uh, these are the only two Battle Builders that we get in this particular wave. But I actually love them a ton. And what I like about some of the blanks, especially like in this color right here, you could really kind of see the sculpt a lot better, in my opinion. Uh, just because there's no paint and whatnot. That's, that's uh, kind of hiding the sculpt. So I just think that looks really cool. It almost looks like a brown statue or something like that. So that's pretty dope. And I, I like that just a lot. So we also do get this guy right here, which is the alien Ankylosaurian. And I love the way this came out. Uh, I just think this turned out beautifully. Uh, I love, I was really uh, impressed uh, when I saw early images. I thought it looked really, really cool. But seeing it in hand, it just makes it pop so much more. And the colors are just really, really nice. I like it a lot. Now this color deco is a base on this old like alien creature from the vintage toy line adventure people. I did not know that until I was told later on exactly what the deco was. So that's a very odd choice, but you know what? It works and I think it turned out great. Again, I just love the scope of the Ankylosaurian and whatnot. And seeing these colors with that faded look and whatnot just came out nice. And because of that faded look, of course I drew him and it instantly made me think of a sunset type of looking character and whatnot, very peaceful tribe of Ankylosaurians. That's kind of how I saw it in my head. And I just think it turned out really, really cool. But seeing all his accessories like that, uh, it is noted that all his accessories, well, his weapons, I should say, and whatnot, are all molded in that yellow. With the exception of his body and his head and his shell, those all have that orange spray effect. And again, I just think it looks really, really cool. And again, once you hold him in hand, You'll just see how much he stands out and whatnot, especially against with my black background. Uh, he just looks very cool, and I'm super stoked to have him in the collection. Very nice, beautiful looking figure. This guy's, yeah, he's become one of my favorites uh, in this entire wave. All right, so now I'm going to take a look at this guy right here, which is the Maple Mauler. He's a Maple Donut wrestler from Canada. I don't know why that's so funny to me and why I love that so much, but he's so freaking cool. So, okay, of course, I drew him, too. When they showed him to me, I, I don't know why I appreciated this design so much. He was just such a ton, a ton of fun to draw. And, again, he really makes me smile. He's a very interesting and fun character and really excited to have him in my collection. Dude, he has a maple donut head. That's so awesome. I love maple donuts. I'm a sucker for that. The design looks really, really cool. Nice tampering of the maple leaf right there on the crotch and on the back of his trunks. Nice red and white boots with really nice silver for the uh, bootstraps. Looks really, really good. So you can see that he has a ton of accessories, lots of interchangeable heads and whatnot. Some painted, some unpainted. It is noted that you can see that he comes with the unpainted versions of the classic Battle Tribes boots and furry loincloth piece. Uh, he also comes with a the little mini mini figure with this little mini wrestler right here, which is very cool. Uh, unpainted, which is really nice because uh, you can mix and match the different unpainted heads for that. And those are, of course, it Glyos compatible too. So you can interchange pieces with that little guy as well. What I do love is his championship belt. Now, if we take a closer look at it, it's a white intercontinental title, which I love. But it's the BTW Intercontinental Breakfast Champion. That's hilarious, and I love it so much. You can see that it's a couple waffles with some butter on there on a plate with a knife and fork. Why is that so amazing to me? I don't know, but I love it, and I'm glad they did it, and I'm glad he's in my collection now. So the belts work. Again, Glyos compatible. Just take them apart at the waist like so. You can slip the belt on like that and pop him on <clears throat> excuse me, like so, and there you go. So I want to show off some of his interchangeable heads right here. So we have the maple donut right head right here. We have this painted uh, ice cream head, which looks great on him. I think that turned out amazing. Uh, I'm assuming that's vanilla ice cream. I don't know, maybe coconut ice cream for all I know. Uh, but I really like this head right here, which is like their bald head. Uh, but as you can see, he has a little curled up mustache. Why? Because he's fancy. Leave him alone. That's just a lot of fun. Again, I don't know why I fell in love with this particular version of this character so much. He's just really cool. Uh, yeah, I'll call him Jacques for some reason. And we get that awesome luchador mask. 
uh, which is my favorite head in all the BTW figures. And now we have a Canadian luchador again, because why not, right? Who cares? It's awesome. And I freaking love it. And yeah, he's just a fun character, fun toy. And hey, isn't that why we collect and play with toys? Because they're fun. And that's what this guy is to me. And now I'm going to take a look at this guy over here, which is X-Ray. Uh, yes, this is another very popular design in the Glios community. There was just a ton of other companies that did it. Well, this guy's actually based on an old Adventure People character called X-Ray. There was a man and woman in that particular uh, wave, uh, and those are just very popular old toys. And I think this is the first time we're getting them in Glios. That's pretty much a remake of that vintage toy. This is the closest thing we've got. So very, very cool looking design. I love all the parts that he comes with. Seeing all the different heads and whatnot and painting with that blue, a little bit of yellow in there, all came out really, really nice. The tampoing on this guy looks fantastic. Looks just like that vintage figure. I love how they even tampoed the belt to add the lower section of that vintage figure. Looks really good. The blue hair, the yellow dotted eyes look fantastic. I love the green translucent like bluish type of uh, mold that they use here. Just looks really, really good. This guy is beautiful in person. I love that a ton. And of course I drew him and man, getting this guy as a wrestler, I don't know why it was just perfect for me and I think it came out great. Uh, this particular one, again, man, this whole wave is killing it. I really love what Spy Monkey has done with this uh, set. They just nailed it, man. So, so much good thing going on with the set. What's cool is we also got the little, again, little mini uh, brawler guy right here. Again, in that translucent color. I have the little luchador head on him. And just seeing the different heads, we'll see something like this. Let me take that off. And, uh, you know, let's put on, like, the burger head. Uh, again, just looks really cool, and again, kind of creepy in those colors, but you know what, that looks pretty badass, I, I like that a ton, take that off, and uh, you know, let's put on a little Happy Apple, why not, and look at that, that looks really, really cool, I don't know why, I, I have fun just playing with this stuff and interchanging things out all the time, but man, this guy looks badass, this, I can see this guy selling out quick, so make sure you hop on this on the website, because I think he's definitely going to go out really, really quick. So very, very cool piece. So again, this is just a really, really fun wave. I love everything they did here. Uh, if we take a look at these three right here in particular, uh, we can see that all three characters come with all the pieces to build. Characters like the Viking, which I absolutely love with that mohawk. Such a cool design. We have characters like the Goblin, which is pretty rad. Again, really cool seeing him in those different colors and whatnot, especially in that brown. I love the goblin uh, in that brown skin tone. just works out great. Uh, we can also see with the savage, or the legendary berserker, excuse me, with those helmets. And the, the beard on those just look amazing in that scarabite color and whatnot. And even in that um, alien uh, colorway, just looks so good with the horns and whatnot. Just very, very nice. And then we got all the pieces to make the Ankylosaurian in all three colors, which is my favorite. I love that dino character and whatnot. We turn those around, and we can see all three shells. Again, the shell itself is uh, probably my favorite piece to come uh, from this entire new set that they've put out since the, over the holidays. Just looks really, really cool. I also love the fact that, like, if you take the shell from the character itself, it turns into like a type of shield and whatnot. So you can actually take this off right here and like insert an actual handle uh, and it'll become an actual shield, which is very cool. And I just love the interchangeability of what they've done over there. And it just, it's genius, honestly. It really, really is. And I just, man, uh, I really have come to love these toys and everything they've been doing. They're just doing great things there support indie toys support indie artists and whatnot because that's what these things are in my opinion these little three inch glios toys are works of art and i think they are definitely a must get so for a quick size comparison here they are standing next to a marvel legends deadpool figure as well as a dcuc batman figure also for comparison 
Here they are standing next to several other Battle Tribes and Warlords of War figures from my collection. And just for fun, here they are standing next to Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of Wave 14 of Battle Tribes. Now overall, I just think this is a killer wave that we've received from Spy Monkey. All these decos, all these sculpts, interchangeable parts and accessories are just a ton of fun. Utilizing that Glio system can mix and match and make anything your heart desires. How cool is that? This is definitely one of the best waves that I've ever seen and I just think they are a ton of fun that you would all absolutely enjoy. So I give this wave a rating of... 4 Bat Bombs out of 5. And don't forget to head over at SpyMonkeyCreations.com to pick up all these awesome Glios minifigures. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.